Hi everybody, welcome back. In this episode, we are at an old factory building in the city center of Utrecht, in the Yellow Netherlands. The space we are building will be a performing space for the local school of arts, the HKU. This is a local but an international organization. First off, the space is cleared and the tools are rolled out. Where the new partitions are placed, some electrical needs to be removed. Having an indoor scaffold is very helpful here. First step of the frames is making the door frames and make sure the sizing is good enough to function in the new partition frames. Then the first few frames get made. These are in segments because otherwise they would be become unwieldy in the inside space. The door frames will have their own space, but the windows do not have special framing around them. This will be clear later on. The partition construction is very similar to a video I made earlier, so you can see similarities there. The big plasterboards are placed horizontal in a specific pattern to provide the most strength. Although the edges of plasterboard are not taped and the screws are visible, the walls look decent. This is an industrial setting, so showing some details is more than fine. Also, dismantling the walls later on uh, is possible this way. The last wall is actually only there for soundproofing, so it's not connected to the brick wall behind it. It is standing on its own in front of the brick wall. From there on the insulation got placed and the remainder of the plasterboard walls. Over the openings for the windows a sheet of plastic gets screwed on and functions as glass. The plastic is PETG similar to soda bottles and is flame retardant. This way the plastic adds strength to the structure instead of taking it away. The total build lasted five days with a team of three persons. Uh, the step which took the most time was the plasterboard covering. There were a number of corners and the, the heights which made it more time consuming. I also focused on the double doors and made them function in the frames. And then it was finished. This was a cool project and hopefully you found this interesting. Here are some bonus content. The old blue lamp beams are in a bad shape and they were reinforced with the red steel. A colleague engineer requested to make the new partitions floating in vertical direction. Here's a mounting point. The block in the middle is mounted to the glue lamp beam and the slot is made in the partition frame. On top, an OSB flange gets screwed for horizontal fixation. In this setting, the middle block can move up and down freely. Mm -hmm. 